gloriously, chaotically, marvelously, thrillingly loud. I have this secret that I only taught my music history class, which is that it's one of my favorite pieces of music. Such an interesting piece. You know, the 1812 Overture, we associate it today, of course, with Fourth of July, Independence Day celebrations, fireworks, right? It's got nothing to do with that. It's this amazing picture of the Russian people having this beautiful hymn and then all of a sudden being attacked by this French army and as they are dealing with that you have all the thrills of, of battle. It was written, it was on a commission uh, for Tchaikovsky about the the Napoleon's retreat from Moscow in 1812, and it's got absolutely nothing to do with American independence of any kind. But it does have cannons in it. Tchaikovsky wrote cannons. It's in the score. It's like it's actually marked. It's even marked rhythmically on this beat, a cannon shot. On that beat, a cannon shot, um, which is great fun. And there's not a lot of pieces in the 19th century orchestra literature with cannon parts. It's quite unusual. In a world of louder, faster, stronger, I think that it's something that really appeals to people and definitely draws the attention. I think that's why I love it, was that he kind of lost a little bit of his corseted refinement and was a little more Russian than he was comfortable even being. It's a brilliant piece. It's a wonderful piece. And it's, and it's pure Tchaikovsky from beginning to end. And it's just this, this feeling of intense um, ecstasy and thrill and excitement. But then you come back around to what started as this kind of solemn hymn being played at the very beginning. Uh, being finalized by everybody in the orchestra, celebrating that they had won. There's moments in it that just cut the orchestra loose like just about nothing else. And there's a thrill about having the audience, just knowing that the audience reaction when you hit that final pumoso at the end, that you just can feel the whole audience going like, yes! It's great, it's a lot of fun. We like the 1812.